The Houston Lawyers Association, an affiliate of the National Bar Association, was founded in 1955, at a time when African American attorneys could not join the Houston Bar Association. Weldon Berry, Robert Hainsworth, Robeson King, Matthew Plummer, Aloysius Wycliffe Sr., and Francis Berry created the Houston Lawyers Association, planting the seed for what would grow into an organization to groom and support the next generation of black lawyers and those that would come in the future. The Houston Lawyers Association was founded in 1955 by uh, six wonderful gentlemen who had the foresight to pool their uh, professional energies. On April 2nd, 1985, five of the living founders were invited by then HLA president, Prince Cartwright, to tell their stories of hope and challenge. There was uh, no organization, no organization which we as lawyers could, be, uh, could become members of. So therefore, our necessity, if we wanted to, who uh, our efforts, uh, our intellect, so to speak. Uh, we had to do it uh, out of our own forces. And I think that the uh, black lawyers are going to fall upon very difficult times and that, uh, that it's far from over, that we lost a lot of gains that we've already uh, had because affirmative action is a thing of the past. That's true. And so there is a greater need now uh, for the Houston Lawyers Association than ever before. HLA members are participants in many monumental cases, including the 1955 desegregation of the Harris County Courthouse Cafeteria, the County Library, and the 30-year litigation that led to the orchestrated desegregation of the Houston Independent School District. This is more than a social, a professional organization, because we are concerned about, about the, uh, the Afro-American community and uh, our rights uh, being, uh, you know, representing our clients, representing the, the black community, and making sure that uh, justice prevails. Uh, that's what we are, social engineers. And we do a lot of things, not only uh, the legal part of it, but we are like psychologists, sociologists, everything. We, we do the whole thing. When it says attorney and counselor at law, <laughs> We, we, we do a, a plethora of, <laughs> counseling. of counseling, of counseling. And so it, sometimes it goes over time, you know, over time. The Houston Lawyers Association is known for its unselfish mentorship provided day in and day out, year after year. HLA's participation was a natural transition for those who would graduate from the Texas Southern University School of Law later named the Thurgood Marshall School of Law. You know, when you come out of law school, you don't really have uh, people that look like you uh, in terms of helping you uh, set the course for your career. And for me, that was the Houston Lawyer Association. Uh, it was a referral network. It was a, uh, a place that I kind of got a renewed sense of purpose and energy, as well as education through their CLE and mentoring program. And so for me, it really impacted the trajectory of my career. As you know, the Houston Lawyers Association was founded in 1955 at a time when African Americans could not join the Houston Bar Association. And now you have uh, many black lawyers who are, who are part of not only the Houston Bar Association, but also other bar associations. However, I believe that the importance and the relevance of the Houston Lawyers Association is just as relevant today as it was in 1955. Houston Lawyers Association was needed long before it was founded, and it's needed now more than ever because the rights of African Americans and other underserved or disenfranchised people uh, continue to be abused. Everything is changed and nothing has changed. Uh, it's more subtle, things that you can't put your hands on. And until we are able to get into the system, and by the word system, until we get persons in high office, attorney generals, to uh, people on the Supreme Court, and on the appellate court, uh, and until we can write laws that ensure that there's a representative number of minorities on any kind of jury, we still, everything has changed and nothing's changed. 
HLA opens its arms to new leadership, new ideas, and new governance that reflect the changing times of Bar Association operation. The association has hosted many legal history events and seminars, but has chosen to combine its forces of past and present with the future as it presents its 2019 gala. Learning from the past, living in the present, and building for the future.